The question is, are such acts of Chinese aggression the new normal? From waging silent wars for influence on land to water cannoning vessels on sea, where does it stop? And let me now put that question to Lisa Curtis, Senior Fellow and Director of the Indo-Pacific Security Program at the Center for a New American Security. Lisa, uh, thank you so much for joining us, Lisa. Now, water cannons being used by Chinese ships uh, on Filipino ships. Where is it headed? Do you think China is going to ratchet up the aggression all the way till, I don't know, till, till they invade Taiwan or something? Well, I think what's happening is is China's trying to intimidate the Philippines in particular. And this, you know, follows um, other uh, acts of intimidation that they've been engaging in. Of course, on Saturday, it was water cannons against the Philippines vessel that was trying to resupply the uh, docked ship, the Sierra Madre, which has actually been there since 1999. Uh, the Philippines has had that, that ship dock there to defend its maritime uh, claims and interests. Uh, because of course, uh, in the 1990s, China um, took control of Mischief Reef, which is another maritime feature that is in the Philippines exclusive economic zone. So this was part of a pattern. Well, Lisa, this is also a week where China was very much in the news because of the New York Times article and the accusations that propaganda is being done and influence has actually been bought, made headlines in India as well, because an Indian website was, was named there. Now, I know some of the people named in the NYT article has come out and said it's a new wave of McCarthyism that is being unleashed upon us just because we are, we are uh, left wing and just because they are, they are propagating a socialist cause doesn't mean they should be dragged in. What's your own sense of it? Is this... Is, this, uh, is China running a sophisticated propaganda campaign which, uh, which is being paid for uh, or, or are some publications which are broadly left-wing just being dragged into this? Well, look, I think we need to follow the facts. The Chinese are actively um, pushing their ideology, their propaganda. We know this. Um, and they try to hide their hand in doing so. So I think, you know, the New York Times... Uh, investigative reporting is important because it shows us, you know, where the money is coming from. It, it demonstrates how positions of certain organizations have changed over time to be more uh, pro-China. Um, so I think it's important that we ask these questions. Nobody wants um, another wave of McCarthyism. Um, you know, that, that was not uh, good for anybody. But I don't think we can simply, you know, wave um, these financial connections away. Um, and we have to be smart and prudent about what the Chinese are doing, because they do have a sophisticated campaign pushing their own ideologies. Lisa Curtis, thank you so much for joining us on This World. Thank you.